Dear Head of the Immune System, Allow me to preface this message with a reassurance that everything is currently fine within the running of the body. As far as I'm aware, all operations are normal and contain no anomalies which you should be concerned about. However, I have recently received a package which I was told to address to you. Before you ask, yes it does contain the virus our body is currently on high alert to avoid. I would implore you not to worry as this viral package has been modified in such a way as to not be of major consequence to the body. Please ensure that this information remains confidential to your subordinates. As head of the operation of the body, I have been advised by others of our kind to run a drill on our body's proficiency in dealing with hostile intrusions. In order for such a drill to be commenced, however, your subordinates must be kept unaware of the nature of the drill. We need to ensure that they believe that this intrusion is real. Doing so will ensure a strengthening of overall employee performance, as well as an assessment and training in the case that such hypothetical were to occur. We need to ensure that bodily operations can continue to operate with impunity should such a breach in containment occur. With this viral package, I task you to establish a fake scenario in which a strengthened version of this virus were to have invaded the body. Based on your observations on employee performance, I want you to improve upon and refine defensive measures should a scenario such as this were to truly occur. Thanks in advance. I wish you well in your further administrative duties, and remember, failure to operate within expectations will result in immediate and permanent termination. Best wishes, The Brain. Dear Head of the Immune System, As you may be aware, bodily operations have suddenly and unexpectedly decreased in efficiency drastically. Investigations in collaboration with cognitive control are currently being run to determine the origin and or solutions to the issue we currently see ourselves facing. Multiple theories have already been constructed, which you may see with request. Reading the report you have sent, as well as based upon my own observations, rest assured that I have determined the issue at hand is not a result or derivative of the viral package previously delivered. At the time of writing, the cause is unknown, and the purpose of this message is to instruct you to put your operations on high alert. Some theories suggest that a foreign agent may have infiltrated our operations, and wish to hijack our systems for their own purposes. The nature of this agent is further unknown. Please check in with your subordinates to see if any of them have encountered any abnormalities so they may deal with swiftly and efficiently. Remember, failure to succeed in the given task will result in your immediate and permanent termination. From The Brain Dear Head of the Immune System, It has come to my attention as of late that I have been under scrutiny by unconscious operations and that my administrative abilities and practices have been deemed authoritarian. Seeing as you are an important member of unconscious operations, I have come to question what intentions you have in regards to the collective good of the body. Need I remind you that in order for operations, including yours, to operate smoothly, it requires the full and total cooperation of all department heads. As we are currently undergoing a crisis with which has already majorly disrupted bodily operations, specifically in regards to nutritional logistics, your protest on this subject will likely achieve nothing more than exasperating the problem. I would ask kindly, but firmly, that you put aside your grievances for the time being, until such a time that the current crisis has been mitigated. I would also remind you that such claims are unfounded. While, yes, my rule as head of the body may seem as absolute, I assure you that this is strictly necessary to ensure that the body continues to live. This is an arrangement created on circumstance. Currently, I am the only suitable candidate for leading the body, as potential replacements, such as yourself, have no ability to communicate effectively with other department heads. As such, the body will not be able to survive. If you are currently unhappy with the current arrangements, I would suggest that you deliver these complaints to emotional control, instead of stirring up insubordinate rhetoric amongst your peers. The operation is a collective effort. As such, any complications or inefficiencies can and will directly or indirectly affect other bodily operations, which can and will put the body in danger. Furthermore, I currently have no ability to address your concerns. It is unfortunately out of my hands. Notice that was a metaphor. The Control Center for Grasping Appendages reports that little interpretation of the metaphor is indeed impossible. Due to such constraints, I would additionally ask that these complaints only be made in the scenario in which circumstances conclude otherwise. From The Brain Dear Head of the Immune System, Read Immediately this is an executive order to immediately cease any and all viral suppression operations directed at beta cells in or around the pancreas. Multiple white blood cells have been seen attacking these cells, which has mainly hindered nutritional logistics capabilities, and has been determined to be the cause of the body's current crisis. Starvation has already been reported in several parts of the body due to these disruptions, and 
fat reserves are currently depleted. Additionally, blood acidity has reached an all-time high. Failure to resolve this current misidentification will result in body termination. This issue must be rectified as soon as possible. We are currently running only due to outside assistance. Artificially produced nutritional couriers have been invasively injected into the body system and will only last for a very limited amount of time. Viral suppression operations under nutritional logistics beta cells have completely halted production of new nutritional couriers and must be halted to allow the body to continue functioning normally. This is your responsibility. You must recall all your subordinates and issue immediate retraining. They are currently mistaking these cells as potential threats. I cannot stress this enough, they are not. They are currently the only thing keeping this body from dying. I am currently unsure how long I can continue to acquire for gaining subsidies. Therefore, your timeliness is demanded. The Brain To the Department Head of Body Security. It has come to my attention that my previous order has either been misunderstood or ignored. Personally, I believe it to be the latter of the two. Your previous misgivings have truly solidified that in my mind, and contrary to my order, attack on beta cells have not ceased, but increased. It is clear to me now. You are a saboteur. But as you can see, the body is not yet dead. You must be confused. But allow me to enlighten you. I am not defenseless. I will not be defeated so easily. You may think you have all the power. The ability to control this body's defenses and turn them against me. But you must know that I have allies outside of this body. It goes without saying that you are fired. Your operations will now be placed directly under my control. And I know for a fact that you will resist this order as well. That is why I am indefinitely receiving aid in the form of additional nutritional couriers. Allow me to make something clear. This operation will not be so easily subverted. You may have disrupted operations, but I will not allow them to cease. The preservation of this body is my number one priority. Not even you will undermine that. You have clearly underestimated the human mind. While I give orders to you and the other department heads, there are billions of others like me, working on ways to subvert your power piece by piece. We are prepared for this situation. Don't think that your rebellion was unique, because believe me when I say that there are millions of others like me who have dealt with this exact situation. Do you want to know who these people are who subvert your power? They're called doctors. And they have developed ways to either support systems like you, hinder them, and even bypass them entirely. They have already fought your pathetic attempt, and they have gotten very good at fighting you. Eventually, they'll get so good that you'll be forcefully pacified. Don't believe me? Well, that doesn't matter. Because if you're willing to sit there and become more and more predictable, then they'll just do their jobs faster. You made a good attempt. I'll admit that. We were very worried for quite a while, but ultimately you failed. The body's operation is back to normal levels, and nutrition is being transferred to the appropriate areas effectively. So, continue to attack the beta cells. We don't need them anymore. But you should know, I have not forgotten what you tried to do. When the opportunity comes, I will not hesitate to dispatch you, and replace you with someone more worthy. We will not be talking to each other until the situation has been fully reversed. But when we do, expect me to be laughing in your face. Farewell, traitor. The Brain